And our next guest is Ursula Abujela from Michigan State University, and she is the winner of the Masters Oral Presentation. She's also got her uh, advisor here, Andreas Contreras. Thank you. In the VET program, Michigan State University. Um, Ursula, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello, thank you for having me. Um, so I'm originally from Beirut, Lebanon. I was born and raised in Lebanon. I moved to the U.S. about seven years ago um, for my um, undergrad to Michigan State University. So I got um, my um, bachelor's degree in animal science at Michigan State. I graduated in 2020 and then immediately started um, my graduate program in Dr. Contreras' lab. Very well. So the uh, presentation you gave, the title was Oleic Acid Limits Lipolysis and Improved Mitochondrial Function in Adipose Tissue from Periparturient Dairy Cows. Tell us about the thesis of your uh, project. Um, so this work was done in collaboration with another lab in the Animal Science Department at Michigan State. Um, for that project, uh, we wanted to look at the effects of oleic acid on the adipose tissue and more specifically lipid metabolism. Um, so we know all these benefits of oleic acid supplementation and also during the early postpartum period on cow health and production. Um, so, want, so we wanted to look more into um, physiology, like the physiology in the cow, what is happening, um, especially in the adipose tissue. So. Why oleic acid? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so during, we all know that during the postpartum period, um, the cow is in negative energy balance. And that's pretty no normal um, because it is, she mobilizes a lot of fat to, uh, to support milk production and energy requirements. Um, so in order to improve um, energy intake and reduce this negative energy balance, one of the ways to do that is through um, fatty acid supplementation. And oleic acid has been shown to uh, improve production and also minimize that body weight and body condition score losses. So that's why we, on, in this project, we focus on oleic acid to see how it is actually um, decreasing or minimizes this body condition score loss. So what were your findings then? In this study, we infused the cows with 60 grams of oleic acid per day um, in the abomasum, um, starting from the first day after calving up until 14 days. We took adipose tissue biopsies, and um, well, my focus, what I personally did, um, I focused on uh, looking at the adipose tissue to look at um, insulin sensitivity. And we saw that oleic acid uh, improved insulin sensitivity in the tissue. It also minimized, minimized um, lipid uh, mobilization. And we also saw that oleic acid um, improved mitochondrial function in the adipose tissue. Did you measure uh, performance of these? Of the cow? Production wise? Yeah. Yes, we did. Um, but the focus of the study was more on the um, metabolic side. Uh, so we only had 12 cows. We didn't see a uh, production response uh, due to that. Are there, are there other fatty acids that would cause similar uh, responses or not? Or is this, is this specific to oleic acid in, in these early lactation cows? Um, we, well, not us specifically, but we've seen, there are um, evidence for uh, palmitic acid supplementation benefits also during the postpartum period. I wouldn't know specifically what would happen in the adipose tissue with palmitic acid since I, that's not the focus of my research. I haven't tested it, um, but there could be potential for other fatty acids to have similar effects. So what would... What about later in lactation? So, it, so is it the oleic acid is it is it uh, affecting lipogenesis? It it is. We're seeing that it is affecting lipogenesis, promoting lipogenesis um, um, during that negative, especially during that negative energy balance. Um, and uh, there are benefits for oleic acid also later in lactation, and cows have been are 
have been supplemented with oleic acid later in lactation. Yeah, Dr. Contreras, I feel kind of bad. She's uh, done such a great job. You haven't, yeah. had, you haven't had anything to say. Uh, what can you tell us about Ursula, the student? Oh, she's great. Yeah, isn't she, though? I mean, yeah, she yeah. takes the, you know, this is a master's level uh, research that looks like a PhD. Yes, yes, level. very so impressive. That's why she's going to stay in my lap and do a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. So, is that is that your uh, your career track? You're going to go on for your PhD? That's there. my plan. Yes, um, I love the Contreras lab so much and the Colombians that I decided that I want to stay and pursue a PhD. Okay. And after that, any any ideas yet, or just kind of keeping your uh, avenues open? I do have some ideas, and actually, attending ADSA has helped me a lot, and networking and talking to a lot of. Um, professionals and industry people has opened my eye to all the different opportunities that I might have in the future. I'm leaning more towards um, industry and doing research within the industry. Um, I wouldn't see myself, or I shouldn't say that, maybe that would change, but as of right now I just don't see myself in academia. Mm -hmm. Well, I see you wherever you want to go. You're a very oh, bright young you so lady much. and the uh, yeah. future's bright for you. So I want to thank you for coming and spending some time with us tonight. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Very thank well. You. Thank you. Thank you. We'd love to hear your comments or ideas for topics and guests. So please reach out via email to anh.marketing at balchem.com with any suggestions, and we'll work hard to add them to the schedule. Don't forget to leave a five-star rating on your way out. You can request your Real Science Exchange t-shirt in just a few easy steps. Just like or subscribe to the Real Science Exchange and send us a screenshot along with your address and t-shirt size to anh.marketing at balchem.com. Balchem's Real Science Lecture Series of webinars continues with ruminant-focused topics on the first Tuesday of every month, monogastric-focused topics on the second Tuesday of each month, and quarterly topics for the companion animal segment. Visit balchem.com slash real science to see the latest schedule and to register for upcoming webinars.